For CES this year, Dell has a lot of hardware refreshes and a few new surprises. The star of the show is the new XPS 2-in-1, a convertible version of one of our favorite Dell laptops. And if you were wondering, yes, it does continue the XPS lineup's near bezel-less design around its Quad HD Plus screen. It's a bit thinner than the standard XPS 13, and its fanless design should make it quieter and more tablet-like when you want to veg and watch Netflix in bed. Like many convertible laptops, the screen can be bent all the way around so you can have it in two tenth modes, or have the keyboard folded completely on the back. The XPS 13 2-in-1 has two USB-C ports, one of which is Thunderbolt 3.0 compatible. It's powered by Intel's 7th gen core processors and can hold up to 16GB of RAM and up to a 1TB solid state drive. I only had a bit of time to test it out, but the new XPS 13 felt every bit as sturdy and premium as its predecessors. I'll definitely have to use the keyboard more to judge it though. You'll be able to get your hands on this new convertible on January 5th starting at $1000. Dell already brought over Intel's new processor lineup to the XPS 13 in September, but today it's also announcing that the larger XPS 15 will also get the chips. When it comes to gaming machines, Dell also announced at CES that its recent Alienware lineup will be getting 7th gen Intel chips soon. And if you're on a budget, the 15 inch Inspiron 7000 is also getting a facelift, with some slicker lighting and hardware bumps across the board. It's also getting Intel's new CPUs, as well as support for Nvidia's 10 series GPUs. The Inspiron 7000 will start at $800 on January 5th. Overall, Dell didn't have many revolutionary things in store at CES, but these upgrades sound worthwhile for anyone hankering for a new computer.